if conversion is described as being made new, new creation, then that's pretty clear evidence too that man in his fallen state has nothing good in him. Else why would the scripture speak of all things new? You see, thirdly, if conversion means to be born again or begetting again or being born from above, that should be evidence in of itself that there's no good thing in us. Else why would it be necessary to be born from above? When the Lord said to Nicodemus, you must be born again, he was not giving him something to do. I mean, even nature tells you that we had nothing to do with our physical birth. What, what did I do to be born? Well, if I started trying to reason that I did something, people would probably shoot me. You, I don't know where you came from, but that's just impossible. And yet, when you when you get down to the spiritual, they're all arguing about, no, these are things that you have to do to, what you must do to steps, be born again. No. Just the fact that it's taught in Scripture, the scripture says in James 1.18, of his own will begat he us. So again, anything, in, like it says in verse 15, that is the work of men's hands is idolatry. For a preacher to stand up even to tell, begin to tell people about, here's what you need to do, first step, second step, third step, in order to be born again, he's, he's preaching to you a works religion. 